What a wonderful day. The milestone that everyone waits for in their life. Graduation day. Yes, folks, I'm graduating today. Oh yeah, and I have something to show you. In my freshman year, I wrote down the 10 things I wanted to do before I graduate. They were join the MSA and eat at every halal restaurant in downtown. Stay up all night, but not for a test or an assignment, but to read the entire series of Hunger Games. Go to the Arabian Peninsula and try sand skiing. Have falafel and shawarma with Kobe Bryant. And get a job offer for an engineering firm full time. Oh yeah, and get married, the only unchecked one. Now that reminds me of a lot of memories. My name is Muhammad. I'm your average Muslim guy, and this was my story. It couldn't really end like this, could it? Not after what I've just been through. We're gonna get through this, right? We're gonna be together forever, right? Started to think otherwise. Maybe the guy from the MSA was right. Maybe there was no Layla for this Majnu. Maybe no Aisha for this Muhammad. Maybe there's no such thing as halal love. Just when I thought to resign myself to the ownership of a hundred cats and give myself the nickname Abu Huraira, I saw her. I saw her, the hijabi of my dreams. I had to think fast. A streetcar travels on average at the speed of 20 kilometers an hour. If a man leaves the same station on foot and takes a massive shortcut, will he spend the rest of his life alone? I was incredibly out of shape for such a marathon. But every quadricep of my body told me I couldn't let this one go. I had to keep pushing. I was going to make it. I wasn't going to make it. Oh wait, who is this? Wait a minute, is this the guy from the MSA? Thank you, Mario, but your princess is in another castle. Just like that, she was gone. The next station was for miles. I had nothing left beside a broken heart and a flat tire. Oh wait, there she is. I'm your true love faster. Just when I was about to ask for her Wally's number, her brother came. Couldn't really end like this, could it? Not after what I've just been through. We're gonna get through this, right? We're gonna be together forever, right? Started to think otherwise. Maybe the guy from the MSA was right. Maybe there was no Layla for this Majnu. Maybe no Aisha for this Muhammad. Maybe there's no such thing as halal love. Don't worry. Be happy. 
just when I was about to sign up for Al Falu's Depka Group membership, my phone rang. And it was none other than singlemuslim.com. It couldn't really end like this, could it? Not after what I've just been through. We're gonna get through this, right? We're gonna be together forever, right? Started to think otherwise. Maybe the guy from the MSA was right. Maybe there was no Layla for this Majnu. Maybe no Aisha for this Muhammad. Maybe there's no such thing as halal love. Just when I was about to update my Twitter status, forever alone, I saw a tweet that was going to change my life. A woman's heart should be so lost in the love of Allah that a man would need to seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to find her. Maybe that's where I went wrong. And then I realized the one thing I was missing was my full trust and reliance in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma iftah li abwaab rahmatik O oh Allah, open for me the doors of your mercy. straight to you until I took the first step and that's when you opened the doors for me now Allah I realize what I was missing by being far from you Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah all praises to all praises to Allah Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah All praises to Allah All praises to Allah Alhamdulillah Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone Alhamdulillah we've made it We've made it through the long stressful all nighters we as human beings are always looking for that next step. Those of us who are in university are looking forward to graduating. Those of us who are graduating are looking for that job. And those of us who have that job are looking to secure it. Some of us are looking to get married. And those of us who are are looking to start a family. These precious events become milestones in our lives. And today is one of those milestones, our graduation day. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel greatly honored and humbled to be standing in front of such a brilliant crowd today and sharing my side of the story. In 2008, my mother gifted me a notebook. And I'm not the type of person to write things down in my agenda, but I wrote in it 10 things I wanted to accomplish before I graduated. And believe it or not, all of them came true. Although some of them were silly and I guess stupid, 
but there were important things on that list too, as well. Not too long ago, just when everything was going perfect, according to how I planned, things started going wrong. I was heartbroken, hopeless, and desperation made me take the wrong turns in my life. It weakened my faith and in the process that I almost forgot the purpose of my existence. I was so after this dunya that instead of seeking Allah only, I was seeking something else. Now do not get me wrong, seeking this dunya is permissible, but you have to have your priorities straight. These past four years helped me shape my personality. I'm a totally different person from what I used to be in my freshman year. Today I stand before you with the right direction in my life, graduating with honors by the mercy of Allah. And for that, I'd like to thank my parents, my friends, my classmates, and my wife who's sitting with us here today. You all believed in me, and I wouldn't be standing here right now if it wasn't for your love and support. My advice to you and myself is that no matter what happens, always, always have full trust and faith in Allah. Be strong and never give up. Do not ever let your intentions or focus get diverted, even if it may be for halal things, such as getting married, starting a family, or getting that promotion at work, whatever it may be. Never run after people, but rather Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I will end my speech with this hadith. The Prophet peace be upon him said, if you had all relied on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as you should rely on him, then he would have provided for you as he provides for the birds, which wake up hungry in the morning and return with full stomachs at dusk. So remember, tawakkul is where success is at. May Allah give us success in this life and the year after. Class of 2012, congratulations, we made it. Sister girl, she expected the world, but it flew away from her reach. So she ran away in her sleep, dreamed of para, para, paradise, para, para, paradise. Just a month ago, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent me the girl of my dreams, my other half, someone to complete half of my team, a pious wife. And she's here with me on this very special day, the day of my graduation.